Greetings to all who are watching Learning English is Fun by Mary Bitaya Kabinburi School. This is your teacher, Eunice. The topics discussed in this video and the coming videos are for the elective English subject of grade 7 students. Our topic for today is about personality adjectives. What do you mean by personality adjectives? These are adjectives we use to describe a person and their characters and personality. It's a bit confusing, right? Especially with the word character and personality. But I'm going to give you some examples so that you can understand them better. If you see this boy, what do you think about him? Very good. He is shy. Let's spell the word shy. S-H-Y. Shy. How about this boy? What do you think about him? Very good. He is confident. Let's spell the word confident. C-O-N-F-I-D-E-N-T Confident How about him? What do you think of him? Okay, you can say he is Genius Let's spell the word genius G-E-N-I-U-S Genius What else? Very good. He is a nerd. Let's spell the word nerd. N-E-R-D. Nerd. What else? Very good. He is smart. Let's sp spell the word smart. S-M-A-R-T. Smart. What else? We still have one more. Very good. He is brainy. Let's spell the word brainy. B-R-A-I-N-Y. Brainy. How about this woman? How can you describe this woman? Oh, maybe some of you will say, oh, she's like my teacher. Okay, so how can you describe her? Very good. She is strict. Let's spell the word strict. S-T-R-I-C-T. Strict. How about these children? How can you describe them? Very good. They are stylish. Okay, let's spell the word stylish. S-T-Y-L-I-S-H Stylish How about these boys? How can you describe them? Very good, they are energetic. Let us spell the word energetic. E-N-E-R-G-E-T-I-C Energetic Very good How about this boy? How can you describe him? Oh, he has lots of money Very good, he is rich Let's spell the word rich R-I-C-H Rich what else? Okay, very good. He is wealthy. Let us spell the word wealthy. W-E-A-L-T-H-Y Wealthy How about this man? What do you think about him? 
Oh, what a pity. He doesn't have any money. Very good. He is poor. Let's spell the word poor. P-O-O-R, poor. Okay, I have given you many examples already, so I hope you have understood the word personality adjectives. Okay, so let's get ready with some exercises. Before we proceed with the exercises, let us first read and spell the following personality adjectives. The first one would be quiet. Q-U-I-E-T, quiet. Next, reliable. R-E-L-I-A-B-L-E, -E, reliable. Next, cheerful. C-H-E-E-R-F-U-L, cheerful. Next, brave. B-R-A-V-E, brave. Next, selfish. S-E-L-F-I-S-H, selfish. Next, generous. G-E-N-E-R-O-U-S, generous. Next, neat. N E A T, neat. Next, clumsy. C L U M S Y, clumsy. Next, boastful. B O A S T F U L, boastful. Next, sensible. S-E-N-S-I-B-L-E, -S -S -E, sensible. Next, naughty. N-A-U-G-H-T-Y, naughty. Next, easygoing. E-A-S-Y, dash, G-O-I-N-G, easygoing. Next, ruthless. R-U-T-H-L-E-S-S, -S, ruthless. Next, kind. K-I-N-D, kind. Next, hesitant. H-E-S-I-T-A-N-T, -S hesitant. Next, greedy. G-R-E-E-D-Y, greedy. Next, patient, P-A-T-I-E-N-T, -E patient. Next, modest, M-O-D-E-S-T, modest. Next, possessive, P-O-S-S-E-S-S-I-V-E, -S -S possessive. Next, Witty. W I T T Y. Witty. Next. Jealous. J E A L O U S. Jealous. Next. Lazy. L A Z Y. Lazy. Next. Touchy. T O U C H Y. Touchy. Next, absent minded. A B S E N T dash M I N D E D. Absent minded. Pause. Please pause and go back to the list of words we have read and spelled a while ago and look them up in the dictionary before you start answering the exercises. 
Okay, in the first exercise, we are going to classify the personality adjectives into positive personality and negative personality. What do you mean by positive personality? Personalities that are good and negative personality, personalities that are bad. So I guess by this time we have already completely answered our table. For the passive personality, we have the following. Quiet. Reliable. Cheerful. Brave. Easygoing. Generous. Neat. Sensible, kind, patient, modest, and witty. For the negative personality, we have the following. Clumsy, boastful, naughty, selfish, ruthless. Hesitant, possessive, greedy, lazy, jealous, touchy, and absent-minded. For the second exercise... We are going to match the descriptions with the personality adjectives. And by doing this, we are also going to identify the clue word or words for our answer. Number one, someone who is slow to act because they feel uncertain. Our clue here would be uncertain. With this word, we can identify that number one's answer is hesitant. Number two, someone who can be trusted to do something well. Clue, do something well. With this, Number two's answer is reliable. Number three, someone who is willing to give money or help freely. Clue for number three is give money or help freely. With this clue, our answer in number three is generous. Number four, someone who always wants more than they need. The clue here is wants more than they need. So in number four, our answer is greedy. Number five, someone who thinks of their own advantage. Our clue here is own advantage. So our answer in number five is selfish. Number six, someone who is easily offended or upset. Clue, easily offended or upset. So number six answer is touchy. Number seven, someone who is relaxed and not easily upset or worried. It's almost opposite with number six. So the clue here is relaxed and not easily upset or worried. So our answer in number seven is easygoing. 
Number eight, someone who likes to keep things tidy and in order. Clue for number eight is tidy and in order. So from these words, we can say that number eight is neat. Number nine, someone who behaves badly and is not willing to obey. Clue is behaves badly and is not willing to obey. From this, our answer in number nine is naughty. Number 10, someone who is helpful, friendly, and cares about others. The clue words here are helpful, friendly, and cares about others. So with this clue, our answer in number 10 is kind. Number 11, someone who is not willing to work or use any effort. Clue for number 11 is not willing to work or use any effort. So our answer in number 11 is lazy. Number 12, someone who moves or does things in a very awkward way. Our clue for number 12 is awkward. So our answer in number 12 would be clumsy. Number 13, someone who is able to use words in a clever and funny way. The clue for number 13 is clever and funny. So the answer in number 13 is witty. I have prepared some exercises for you to do by your own, and this will serve as your homework. Please copy the items and answer them in your notebook. Let's look and read the personality adjectives that you are to use in answering the exercises. The first word would be loyal. Next, bad tempered. Next, dull. Next, silly. Next, selfish. Next, shy. Next, cheerful. Next, crafty. Next, clumsy. Next, strict. Next, sympathetic. Next, gentle. Next, nice. Next, sensible. Next, mean. Next, sensitive. Next, trustworthy. Next, reliable. Next, stubborn. Next, tough. Let us read them again. Loyal, bad-tempered, dull, silly, selfish, shy, cheerful, crafty, clumsy, strict, sympathetic, gentle, nice, sensible, mean, Sensitive, trustworthy, reliable, stubborn, tough.
Okay, so these are the words that you are going to use in the exercises. For the first exercise, we are going to classify the personality adjectives into two, namely positive personality adjectives and negative personality adjectives. Remember that positive personality adjectives are good and then negative personality adjectives are bad. For the second exercise, you are going to fill in the gaps with a word from the list of personal adjectives that we have read just a while ago. And then only use each of these words once. Okay, so I'm going to give you an example. He is terribly blank. Once he has made up his mind, it is impossible to get him to change it. So, our answer here is stubborn. Why stubborn? Okay, because of the two words, made up, mind, impossible, to change. There are 15 items for you to answer in this exercise. And please remember to underline the clue words for your answer. What about you? How can you describe your personality? For the third exercise, you are going to choose adjectives from the activities done to talk about yourself and your friends or the other people around you and write a paragraph with not less than five sentences. Good luck and enjoy learning English.